Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today is pretty much the last video in the Max Lumi series, uh, simply because it needs to go uh, further to the next reviewer. And one of the last things that I wanted to cover was a special nerdy thing that I'm very excited about and that's the use of a physical keyboard and the shortcuts that you have to operate your Max Lumi device. So let's check it out. And here we are at pretty much my the, the nerdiest and my most favorite section of uh, what I wanted to show regarding Max Lumi, which is the keyboard integration. And you can see that on the left side here, as I'm pressing keys up and down, I can navigate between each of the menus. So let's say that I want to go into notes, I press enter. I'm in notes and now I can navigate here and basically let's say I want to go into to add a new notepad or yeah let's check out update 2.3.1 notes basically this is where keyboard shortcuts kind of stop as far as navigation goes it's like oh yeah I didn't want to go there but I wish I could just go back or go home well you kind of can uh, there's plenty of things that you can do with shortcuts here and the key one is control or command so uh, depending on what type of uh, keyboard you're using so if I use command and N I'm going to get my notifications panel toggle it uh, down so I can't toggle it back up so that's one of the things that's a little bit yeah it would be cool that if it worked like a toggle and while I'm in the navigation bar uh, while the notification panel goes I can't really continue navigating with the cursors that would have been excellent if I could but yeah command N notifications command or control enter is home so let's say that I was in apps and then I go control enter it goes back home now let's say that I go into a document of some sort once I'm in a document I can navigate the document by using the uh, yeah left and right let's say that maybe I just want to go back that I don't want to go home but I want to go back where it was you can use control command backspace and this is your back command so it really doesn't matter what you're doing you have these normal kind of basic ones there so it would be control N for notifications control enter for home control backspace for back in this case it didn't happen and in most of the situations you do have the ability to navigate through um, yeah your uh, uh, user interface using the arrow keys and in the case of the documents you can also flip pages using the arrow keys so these are the main shortcuts that I've been able to kind of figure out and for me it works very nicely for a basic navigation things like that but I do would keep my pen next to it uh, so that when I run into an issue for example if I go into notifications and I want to modify something then you either want to use this or the tap uh, option to actually just use the input but I think that the combination is really great and I wish that the uh, integration of the keyboard how to operate the whole environment is a little bit more even expanded upon and upgraded a little bit further I absolutely realize that this is like a niche type of use case in a niche type of product I totally get that but hey I can at least express my desires so yeah my nerdy desire would be to yeah to be able to go through everything that I need to uh, using the keyboard alone however of course I absolutely fully realize not many people care about this at all therefore I'm keeping the video short but yeah just to summarize navigation works control copy V and all those kind of shortcuts in your documents they work normally um, but system-wide shortcuts are that you should remember they are control N for notification control enter for home control backspace for back and you also have control B for browser and there's also one for email I think control E opens up the email app I could go to a browser and then I can navigate and switch between things in my tab so let's say if I can tab to the point where I can type addresses nope can't so I have to type so let's say I want to go to uh, BBC enter 
and yeah, I can scroll, but I can't really select these things. So I can't really select an item that I want. And the tab is usually the thing that should work, but I can't really tab enough. It's not perfect. It definitely has uh, ways to go, but even an inkling of this kind of implementation is something that I really do value and appreciate a lot. So I hope that it gets expanded upon in the future even further. As I said, the implementation is definitely not completely there, but even the stuff, the limited stuff that is there makes me very happy that it is there and something that makes uh, the use case of these devices even more broad. So it's something that really applies to me a lot and I understand fully that this is, as I said, niche use case scenario and needs in a niche market. So I'm not really hopeful that these things are going to be um, updated anytime soon. I wish they would because it would be so freaking cool to be able to navigate and operate most of your device via physical keyboard because then it becomes this kind of different thing that I would like it to be. But uh, even as it is, I think it's a really cool addition. It's something that you guys might find useful uh, to be aware of that you can do partial control and navigation of the book's devices via physical keyboard and the use of the shortcuts that I've mentioned. If you like the video and if you like my deep guide, please like and subscribe and check out the rest of the videos. There's lots of videos on the channel and lots more videos coming along. In order to get notified with the upcoming videos, tick the notification bell so that you don't miss them out. Also, if if you do like the My Deep Guy platform, check out the Patreon and consider becoming an official Patreon. Not only are you helping the platform and me being able to bring you better and more versatile content, but you also will get access to uh, Patreon exclusive content, which is behind the scenes type of stuff, how videos are made, bloggy vloggy type of content, which users seem to be liking quite a bit. Thank you so much for watching and the support. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.